collect it back. Shout to your neighbor, say, collect it back. Whatever the enemy took from you in the name of Jesus, shout it, I collect it back. They saw, sit down. They saw that where they were dwelling is small. They said to the prophet, we want to go and cut the tree to make a place where it will be better for us to dwell. And the prophet said to them, you can go. Why they were about to go, he said, I mean, they begged him and said, can you go with thy servant? And he agreed to go with them. It's important when you are doing anything or whatever you want to do, it consult God, involve God at the beginning. Now the Bible says, as they went on that journey, they began to fall, they cut the wood, and one decided to fall a beam that would carry the house. As he was cutting, the ass head fell into the water. That was when he shouted. He didn't shout, he cried. He lay as master. It was borrowed. No, be my own. If not my own, I for no, I for no worry. I, maybe the owner told him, said, "Don't return. Don't come back with story." The other man broke the ass. The other man lost the ass. Don't. This is the only one. He said, "No, I will return it." He cried. He lay as master. It was borrowed. No, be my own. I told him this out. Whatever that can make a man to cry can make a woman to faint. <laughs> And the son of the prophet shouted, Elias, master! It was borrowed. You know, whatever that is not yours is not yours. But the first thing I want to talk about that, do you know there are power that fight against your expansion? There are forces that fight against your dream. There are power that fights against expectation. Hear me, many, there are things we have dreamt in life that never come through. But this year, you will take it by force. I have an assignment tonight. I don't know who God sent me to. There is something that is missing in your hand. There is something the enemy took from you. There is something they vow that you can't have. If I hear you turn that amen, Jehovah will give you back. You watching me there. Every good thing that have left your hand. Every dream you have in your life that never become true. But the enemy hijack it. As you turn that amen, I see you collecting it back. Somebody shout, I collect it back. Sit down. He cried, but the mystery about it is why I'm here. The prophet said, Where was the where is the ass head? And he showed him. He caught a stick. Men and brethren, naturally, you it's not normal. When the ass head has swollen into the water, you use a stick to choke it. You are making it to go deeper. But because there is a prophetic grace that is available, when you believe in your prophet, everything is possible. You may look at it. That's why you don't need to argue with your... You can't argue with your doctor when you want to give injection. And you cannot argue with your prophet when he declared a word accept it and it will work in the natural eye in the natural wisdom you will shout to him say no don't shook the stick because it will go deeper but the prophet in his capacity use the stick touch it instead of the thing going down he came up and he shouted and said take it back tonight I will speak if you believe me as your prophet, I will speak like your prophet. Yeah. Brother Stanley, come. There's a message you sent me recently that reminded me something. The prayer we prayed that two years ago. I said, there will not be rain, nor dew, but the grass will grow because of the issue in your business. Did it work or it didn't work? It Did it not work? It work. I don't buy two cars. Two years. I don't buy two cars now. For 2022 now. At that time, business granted. I called him and said, come. There may not be rain. There may not be dew. But I speak in my capacity. The grass will grow. Tonight, I'm going to provoke somebody's blessing. If you agree, say amen. It will work for you. 
Because recently he sent me a test and sent me off. He said, I remember that word. He said, There may not be rain, there may not be dew, but the grass will grow. You know, it's a mystery. How can no rain, no dew, yet the grass? Because a prophetic word that carried the mandate of heaven is stronger than fertilizer. Now, tonight, I am here to provoke your blessing. Now, listen. If there is anybody who vows say you cannot have it, I command them to sleep and never wake up. I speak here as your pastor. If there's anybody who hit ground and said he cannot walk, I bow my knee on this altar. They will sleep and will not wake up. Shouted, I collect it back. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace on my days. I will sing your praise. Yes, Abuba, see how far you brought me. Yes, Abuba, I'm so glad you found me worthy. I can see, I can tell. And I know is your grace all my days. I will sing your praise. I don't care to know. We are the vow that say frustration go kill you. I am here to let you know it cannot happen. I don't care to know who is in that family who follow you. I don't know who is monitoring where everything you are doing. I don't know why is it that every day in a story, Lord, set back, somebody rise on our fire three times. By fire, by force. Right from the days of John the Baptist in now, the kingdom of heaven suffer a violent. Only the violent take it. Switch your hand. Whatever that left your hand, whatever you are due for, they didn't give you. Whatever you are qualified for, they stopped you. In the name of Jesus, as you stretch your hand, turn that amen to it and collect it back. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus three times very loud. Now stand up. Stand up. Every mama here pray for your children. Every father here pray for your children. You are a good girl, pray for yourself. You are a boy, pray. Shout the father. Any man or woman that is against my happiness, whatever they will use to spoil what God has given to me, by fire, oh, your prayer. We pray in Jesus' name. We are here stand now everybody standing now listen to me today is not like yesterday i don't care to know why things are not the way you expect it and i pray for every one of you that is happy here that god is helping i heard that one clearly god told me declare it whoever that is not happy with you now whatever they are trying to initiate into your life may god frustrate them You didn't hear what I said. Whoever that is not happy with you now, who believe that this thing where you get for your hand, it goes soon finish. Somebody holler fire, give them seven times. Shout the Father in the name of Jesus. No man will terminate my glory. Or your pray, no man will terminate my glory. In Jesus name we pray now do you know some people they lock them up spiritually they never enter anywhere things work they chain them they lock them shall the father whatever they are using to block me in the name of Jesus what are you waiting for break and scatter I wish you can demonstrate it as you pray
lock your womb lock whatever they used to lock your marriage whatever they are using to lock your business lock your joy lock your hell aha let it break whether it's bad law whether it's chain whatever they are using let it break let it break we pray in Jesus name sit down shout it I take it back sit down sit down pastors the enemy did that to make sure that that vision did not come to reality. Because if the ass was not available, they would not cut down any wood for that vision. Now, I am here to announce to somebody that your dream, your expectation for this year, 2023, no man will have bought it. You watching me there in that country, those things you plan and say, Lord, this is how it look like. Between now and December, if your amen is the loudest, you are collecting them. In the name of Jesus, you are collecting them. Sit down. So keep on your Chineke I don't know what they follow you. Anywhere you put hand, you see battle. You start school, you couldn't finish it. You enter marriage, it didn't work out. Business, nothing to show up. You even try to travel. Some even travel and got stranded. Some even didn't travel at all. All the little they have wasted because they are power fighting against whatever that makes them happy. That devil is a liar. So keep on your way. She naked na lewa mo. Chukume kwela. Ko amerie mo. Mali. So keep on your way. She naked na lewa mo. Chukume kwela. Ko amerie I'm talking, I don't know who is mocking, who is happy that things are not working. Relax your mind. It's not who first start to run that wins. In the journey of destiny, overtaking is still permitted. This is not the end of your life. Can I hear amen? Can they come over? Ega ye kwe kande kama si mundo Ega ye kwe kanoro ni yere Chukume kwe la kwa mere mo I'm here to announce to you that thing that left your hand is coming back A sister was sharing testimony two Wednesdays about one of the sisters who live in the East. Whether it was last year, the last two years. He said she wants to come. She came to me and said the sister wants to see me. I said, okay, tell her to call me. He told her one, he said, no, I want to see you. God told me if I see you, this problem will be resolved. I said, okay, tell her I'm coming to a wedding. For social program, you come and see me. There. He said, No, it's urgent. I will not wait till you come. I want to come to Benin. Just promise me you will see me. I said, Okay, you come to Sode. And she came. What did they think? She had been trying to go and meet the husband. No way. 
all the effort they will see error they think never work for more than two years and when he came i told her i said look at the instruction when you finish call me we'll pray she finished the prayer instantly they gave her visa she traveled came back again the sister was already i said it relaxed the matter had been settled before you know she went back now for final one and went to meet with the husband and one day we are in this gym program I, don't, I think that was last year when i walked to the sister i said that her sister said, is she pregnant? He said, I don't know. I said, I'm perceiving it. she's pregnant. He said, I called her. She said, she don't know. Two weeks later, I call her and say, yes, now positive. And now she have delivered. Hear me. I speak wherever you are watching. Whatever you are doing for the enemy, denied you. In the name of Jesus, if you shout that amen by faith, heaven give you back. <laughs> Do you know somebody's marriage will take place this year? Do you know from 90 December, somebody will dedicate a house, dedicate a car. Do you know before September, somebody's document will be out. Wave your hand, shout hallelujah. Now look at the area God showed me things this, last night. Those who are doing well, thank God for your life. In business, in marriage, be happy, be thankful. And above all, ask God for grace to keep what you have. I told you the greatest grace is the grace to keep grace. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I told you some time ago, I said the greatest grace is the grace to keep grace. Ability to keep what you have. Why? Because there are many who are praying for you, say that thing will finish. But tell God, instead of, instead of finish, it will multiply. Chineme mabonyo bioma Chineme mabonyo bioma Hasi chineke mabonyo bioma be ewo Chineme mabonyo bioma Because you need to pray even when God is helping you, it's not everybody that is happy that you can feed yourself. It's not everybody that you have shelter over your head. It's not everybody that is happy that you are married. It's not everybody that is, you are, that is happy that God gave you children. So whatever God gave you, don't forget to always tell God, preserve it. One of those who were doing well before and suddenly things went, went bad. Before, he has money, but now, that will not be your portion. Yeah. And if it has happened in the name of Jesus, this service is for you. Yeah. Or you have anyone who was doing well, but suddenly things got so bad. In the name of Jesus, as you turn that amen, I see you collecting it back. I know my lady, my livet. I know it's not far from me. Eh? I know when it shall arise. The world we know that my lady, my livet. I know, I know, I am very sure. I know it's not far from me. Eh? I know. When it shall arise, the what we know that my redeemer live. They will know. But you know, some I'm also making money, but you can't see the money. This one is pocket with holes. They, they gather, they see their gain on paper, but they can't see it in cash. Now I stand on this altar. If there is anybody who is eating from your labor unknown to you, somebody holler fire three times. Fire, fire, fire. If there's anybody who gave you wrong money to be collecting your own, today in the name of Jesus, we paralyze their power. Sit down. They make money, but they can't give account of it. 
Year to year, their shop is busy. Their business is doing well, but nothing to show. My dear, it's not ordinary hands. Something made strong somewhere. But every plant which my heavenly father have not planted must surely be uprooted. There are some, they are struggling to make daily bread. That one from hand to mouth. They will gather the thing, finish. The day they didn't work, nothing shows up. Whoever that kept you in that spot. Now, there are some families, it's not just one person, it, it's happening from one person to the other. But I stand on this altar today, I pass the decree. You will conquer that power. Struggling. Walk like Jackie. He had to eat like that. Rat. Not even rat. Ant. Struggling. Walk like Jackie. Huh? Much labor. You know, I told you, if it's by muscle, men make money. Barrow pusher is supposed to be one of the richest men. Because the kind of load they lift, some of you can't even, you can't even try it. But after much, the thing will end just only in the stomach. If it's a cause in your life, if it's a pattern in your life, in the name of Jesus, we'll break that pattern now. What of those? Promise and faith. They will give you hope today. How will buy you car? He, 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 he. he said, we'll buy me car. But finally, the person may not be make, even picking your cause. But he promised to take me abroad. He promised, he promised to train me in school. He promised, he promised so many promises that never come true. Shouted every spirit of bad luck. Get out. There are people they give them promises that never come through. Promise and faith. Promise and faith. They will give you hope. You'll be smiling, testifying, but finally, nothing to show up. Not the first time, not the second time. A man went to Philly Station during the scarcity, one of the scarcity to buy fuel during December time. Killed up, and his plan was that let me buy fuel, let me use it to walk and make some more money. Stayed in the Philly Station all through the whole night. Around 4 a.m. in the morning, he got to his tongue as they put the nozzle. Pure. Not up to three liters. The thing gave sign, say don't finish. The man shouted, I know, if you reach my tongue, he did finish. People, I want someone to ask why you talk. I say, it has been happening like that. If you get to my tongue, it's never available. I don't know, maybe there's somebody like that, it has been like that. When it gets to your tongue, things will no longer work. When they give this, I reach your tongue, it will no longer work. I remember one brother in this house. One of the days I called him out. Out. I said, why is it that you have one to travel back? He cannot travel back. He said, I don't know. He now told me, say, one experience he had that he went, and when I say America or whatever, American embassy. After they asked him question, I said, bring your passport. At the point of giving him visa, the man, the paper, he said, sign, put your passport. Send it, give it to me across the counter. He did. Sign. The man looked at him again when he collected the passport from him. Look at it. Look at him. Look at the paper. Look at him. He draw the passport, come out, gave him his passport. That paper he gave him to sign. He, he tore it and put it in the dustbin. He said, okay, I changed my mind. I will not give you. He was, he was looking at the man. You know, you can't beg there. Now it's not a place of a beg. Even before they do a beg, they will say, security. So you better respect yourself. That was the end. I told him, I said, this is from your father's house. And we declared it. And today he returned. Today I speak by the mandate of God over my life. If you believe me, arise or say amen. Take back your heart. Sit down. Promise and faith. 
Word of rejection. People reject you for no reason. At times, people who are supposed to be a blessing, whenever they see you, they will not smile again. You begin to imagine what is wrong. At times, people will introduce you to people. When the people never see you, they will be talking well. Come, maybe we see. The moment they see your appearance, their countenance will change. What is wrong? They will tell us, okay, we'll see. That's the end. Rejection. Because there is something following you. Before you enter the team, go and spoil the ground. Every evil escort following you. Somebody give me turn around. Fire! <laughs> Sit down. Hiboli nyam Nami bebe sorondubo Hebenda bere mo Habo gibano ne kurume Chine ke mo ni kwezi oku Hiboro miye nile Lord I confess my love for you You are all that I Hiboli lanyam Nami bebenzo Hebenzo rondume Hebenda beremo Habo gebano ne gurume Chine kebo ni kweze uku Hiboru miye nile Lord I confess my love for you You are all that I am Go to some families They have prayed they are putting effort, but nothing is working. You see the men, they look the same like a cut flower. You look the ladies, they are the same. Not that they don't have character for marriage. Everybody is just running around the circle. Because that is where condition and life has kept them. But I bring you good news, if you can agree with me. I don't need to visit your father's house to liberate you. But this service is enough to service your life and your destiny. And if you can agree, say amen. May God step into your matter. Give that time some people see some people hear some people testimony they'll be asking themselves when will this kind of miracle reach to my house i'm telling you they will be asking them because it has never happened before sit down Chineke menu kamburo nyere ma ezi chimo Once rich I saw one girl he said before my father has money but now he said he can't even boast for a cup of gari for us but before, when he had not given birth to us, he trained all his brothers and sisters, sponsored them some abroad. But now, even those he helped now cannot even remember the children. They forgot. Some of them who wanted to remember now, they no get. They are stranded. Hear this at times, he could be the hand. You know, Matthew 13, Jesus said to the disciples, An enemy have done. This is not God. Napotani memba Napotani ruju Napotani baba Hebe jirigi merechimo Some are borrowing, always borrowing to survive Borrowing Subserve, not even to survive Now borrow Peter, take pay Paul Because you have borrowed everywhere All you do, you borrow from here, pay here Borrow here, pay here Borrow here, pay here. Borrow here, come back here. And not that you, if you borrow, so many borrow that money, they don't know what they use that money for. Because if you borrow it and use it and spend it for yourself, you'll be happy saying, I spend that money. I use it to build a house. If you borrow that money and put it in a house, you'll be happy to pay. Even when the debt is rising, you say, yes, now this house, I use it to pay. But what of in a situation when you borrowed? He didn't know where you put the money. They'll be counting millions and you don't want a thousand. If they sell everything you have, you don't, they, they owe you up to 10 million, but what all you owe half in life, not up to 500,000. I tell you, no man can find himself in that situation 
and be happy. Talk to me now. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. Some people they can't save. Some even will save money. The moment they gather smart in problem that will swallow it will come. Some will gather 10,000 have problem of 50,000. Then they will be confused. Where do I start first? Stretch your hand. In the name that is above every other name. If whatever spirit that have placed in any of this condition has to turn that aim and treat and be liberated. Sit down. And there are some people they are doing nothing. Not that they are doing nothing because they never find anything to do. Nothing prospers in their hand. They have done business in every market in this Benin. It don't sell provision. It don't sell her aloko. He it don't sell every business. He have tried all. No one work. There's no business he doesn't know, but no one does work because there is something that blocks the entrance of the blessing. Some are now completely stranded. Stretch your right hand, shout the blood of Jesus three times. Look at my prayer for you. Whatever God did not plant in your life today, let that power come to an end. Shout it, I call it back. Every good thing God has given to you that the enemy denied you not to have it. As you turn that amen, collect it back. Amen. Sit down. Now look at some instructions I want to give you to recover some situations like this. Number one, before you borrow from any man, seek the face of God. Many times out of frustration, all we need is money. But all money is not money. Are you listening to me? Some money lenders now they know the power behind their business. There's a woman I know in this city I delivered who told me she made her money through money lender. But and they, when she began to explain, he told me that is what brought her into juju and occultism. I say why? He said because that's the only way you can do the business and succeed. If people borrow from you, they will take oath and present their document. And after when they finish, you go and do some certain things that they will not meet up. You know some people, that's how they lost their house. Talk to me. They used and borrowed money from local hand and didn't come back. Use 800,000 naira, sell house of 5 million. I don't know whether you have seen things like that before. They want to borrow you. I saw a man, sit down, that sold it. He, he, he lost two bedroom apartment that he just roofed but not completed. Now, imagine house that have been roofed in 50 by 100, borrowed 300,000, used the document to borrow 300,000 and couldn't pay back. And the man, the woman tell and say, agreement, it's agreement. Time don't pass. The man said, okay, make I say, say, say what? The document is already with her. Am I talking to somebody here? I know it's like I'm dealing with a particular matter today. I'm dealing in a, with a particular matter today. Before you borrow, not all money you borrow. Even when people are too close to you, don't be fond of borrowing and borrowing. You must confirm whether that money will favor you. You must confirm whether God wants you to borrow. If God said don't borrow, stop. Because some people borrowed money, their condition got worse. Profus. Now, let me say this. The worst money to borrow is meeting money. I know some of you will be disappointed. Pastor, why you talk so? I will tell you why. I didn't say she's not borrow, but I'm opening your eye to something. When we are running meeting, all of you come. All of the pastors there come. Mama, stay. Come. Now, see the danger about meeting money. Stay in circle like this. It's okay like that. Now, if you are doing meeting now, this one will bring his money put, right? This one bring put. 
this one bring put, this one bring put, this one bring put, and maybe I want to borrow. They will gather all. Do you know what you gathered and collected? If all of them are Christian, thank God, but I doubt it. You are the only one that know what you believe. And whatever you believe will have power over what belongs to you. Because if you are a child of God, you use God to commit what you have. If Najuju man is using devilish power to commit everything he has. So even if he borrow and give you, my dear, you have no right over it. Even in your pocket, that money is calling the name of the owner. Because he didn't dash you. It's like where you mix water and oil together. Will you mix? Tell me. They tell you mix water and oil. Make it mix. I think you can mix it. It's not possible. Sit down. Because if you are the child of God, you will always present your money to God. If you are, if not those who are idle, those who are caught, they will present their money to what they believe. And believe their money. They believe their money will not lose. If you chop their money, something terrible will happen. And now, number two, how can you as a child of God collect something that belongs to the devil? It's like going to Egypt to look for help. And Bible says, woe to them that go to Egypt for help. When I started this ministry, one thing God warned me, he said, use what you have. Ask me what you don't have. Wait for me till I give you. If bank borrow give you, it's even better. You know, say you are looking at an institution. But, oh. Now listen. One of my son in the Lord here. Somebody said he want to borrow our money. And he, he didn't even ask. He asked, he said, don't you need money for business? He said, I need. He said, come and collect. He, he brought check and wrote two million naira with that date. And he saw two million shout. He said, he said hold it. But... You come back, I'll confirm that check before you catch it, but hold it first. He was twisting him, twisting him, twisting him, twisting him. Now you call this boy to come and borrow money. I called him and said, don't play with your life. Return this check. Now fake help with this one. There are some people today, they initiated them in the name of help. Talk to me. If you are desperate to get help, I tell you, not, something will go wrong. But may that never be your portion. So be careful where you call it. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus very loud and clear. So if God said borrow, if he didn't say no. Now before you make any investment, commit it into the hand of God. Before you make any investment, commit it into the hand of God. Confirm whether that thing, forget, at times people tell you, say, if you put your business in this sort of thing, hey, you make two million, that's why you see so many people, we are defrauded. Mmmm, it mmm, so many people. Me? <laughs> you know how many investment institutions, right from the day of this church, who want to come and do lecture, who want to register people. I know some pastors who tried it and church ended there. No wonder the Bible said the love of money is the root of all evil. The me 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 came out. <laughs> and memorized it. <laughs> How many we are busy throwing out their money? They said, he, what? I, I shouted to one of our members here before. Somebody told me and said, if you bring 10 million under 30 minutes, we'll give you 20% of that money. Which kind of business? On that, how many hours? He said, if you bring 10 million, they will give him 20% after six hours. He momentously didn't tell me. He said, now one pastor, now he called. I said, that's why they defraud you. He didn't believe me. And he put it in today. He said, they wait for the money. Over six years, don't pass. They wait for 20% of 10 million under six hours. Who told you? He don't use calculator. 20% on 10 million. Ha! That's if I put on like this, put on for one month. Maybe that's the one he did. He did calculation of one month. Withdraw. 
Now he clear all the goose. And went to fold his hand. He count how. And he didn't know that, that that six hours to pay back was six hours to disappear. By that six hours, they don't reach where did they go? Off phone. You will not make mistake. Did I hear amen very loud and clear? Very, very important. Mind that another thing I want to say. Mind who is working with you, even when God is helping you. Every hand must not touch your blessing. There are people who work with you, you I said. There are people who work with you and the things begin to scatter. I remove every Jonah in your boat. Can I hear amen? Don't tell your plans to everyone. It's not everybody that must know what you want to do. One of the things that killed the destiny of Joseph was telling people his dream. Your dream is your expectation. Allow it to mature. It's an error for you to go and announce one month pregnancy. Wait till nine months. Uh -huh. Are you hear what I'm saying? No matter. There are some people at times close to you. You don't need to tell some things you are doing. Allow it to mature. It may not be that person. He may tell it to the wrong person that will start using it to attack you. He, he just tell me, say, go soon buy cow. Who? My brother. He, he, he will do as if he's happy. He denied. <sighs> are you still here with me? Always pay your tithe as the Lord bless you correctly you know this one is where the thing they who some member go say pastor tie yes correctly he's a key he's a key and those who apply you practicing it in this house you can testify to that whether it's working or not pay your tithe as god give you give him back whatever committed into the hand of god is safe and secured no power can rob it he said try me that by this if i will not open the windows of heaven pour you blessing that there shall not be room enough to contain your harvest in Malachi 3.8, he said, Wherein have you robbed me? He said, In your tithe and your offering. Pay your tithe correctly and give God a good offering. Malachi 3.8, he said, Wherein? They said, Wherein have we robbed? He said, You robbed me. God said, You robbed me. Yet, you have robbed me. But he said, Wherein have you robbed me? And he said, In tithe and what? Offering. Because when you don't give it correct, it's like you rob God. When you don't, because look, 6.38. Why, what did he say? That's why you must understand the law of that offering. Luke 6 38, what did he say? He said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, praise down and shaking together and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. Now look at the last part. He said, for with the same measure that you made without, he shall be measured to you again. I remember the early stage of this ministry. We, after one service, somebody used I don't know the paper I used to put in the envelope. I lived here. The ushers were worried. Say, who did this kind of thing? I said, no, give me. The measure he met, that measure will return. Whether I use old currency or use uh, money that is condemned, package it. And you know, even when I mean condemned, throw it into pieces. Money that is not. I said, Lord, give her on him according to that which he has sold in Jesus' name. If you don't get, if I say you don't get, nobody will kill you than for you to curse yourself. Because if you give God rubber bag, he go give you dustbin. He go multiply it into millions. Your house will turn to dustbin. Always pay your vows. I know I'm mentioning this thing. This is important that for me to tell you once in a while. Pay your vows. Job chapter 22 verse 27. When you make your vow, there are vows you make personally, openly, secretly, but it's a vow you vow to God. Proverb, I mean, Job 22, verse 27. What did he say? Job 22, 27. Job 22, 27. He said, Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt do what? Pay thy vows. Your vows. Whatever you vow. There's the other part of the Ecclesiastes. He said, When you vow a vow, make sure you pay your vow, because if you vow and don't pay, God counts you as a fool. May you never be a fool. Amen. Giving to the needy and the poor is non negotiable. As God bless you, there are people around you you must reach out to. You must reach out to. It's a key to your blessing. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Giving to the poor and the needy. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Proverbs 19. I 
Hallelujah. So when God bless you, bless the people around you. Bless people. Is it verse 7? Hallelujah. Yes. He that have pity. Okay. Verse 17. He that have pity upon the poor, lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he has given, he will pay him again. So when you help to those you have, you help those you are better than, you are not giving to them. You are lending unto the Lord. The Bible says he will pay you back. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. That your amen is not strong. Yeah. Shall we rise to our feet? I come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Yeah, yeah. I've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Yeah. Lift up those hands. Tell God, whatever I have lost in my life, whatever I've been hoping for, the enemy denied me. I am ready to take it back. I'm ready to take it back. I'm ready. Give it to me back. In any form, the enemy denied it to me. In any form, they collected it. Father, let there be restoration. Draw from you again. Yeah, yeah. I am your own. I am your own. See the day you will come, Jesus. I am your own. I am your own. I am your own. In the day you will come, Jesus, I am your own. If you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I stand? Oh, Jesus, 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 you are my anchor for life. Oh. Somebody sing it now. I, I am your own. Hey, I am your own. Till the day you will come, Jesus, I am your own. Number two, I want you to pray this prayer very loud and clear. Shout it, my father, my maker. Any man or woman I have ever helped who turn my good into evil father intervene on my behalf open your mouth and pray declare it In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your hand toward this altar. I join faith with you. In the name that is above every other name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare. That with the enemy denied you. As you turn that amen, recover all. Recover it in the name of Jesus. If it's a cause in your family that nobody will touch resources, if it's a pattern, if there is anybody who put hand and say no one will stand, nobody will rise. Somebody shout the name Jesus three times loud and clear. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Stretch your hand by the power that is in that name. Wherever you are watching, wherever you are hearing me, as you turn that amen, your destiny has been restored. Your joy has been restored. Your money restored. 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 In the name of Jesus. 
Every good thing they denied your family. Somebody shouted, I collect it back. Honor don't name it to Yanobi. Only one is the most here. Can Stretch your hands. Open that two hands. From now to December, the Lord make you happy. You watching me, you hearing me there. Every good thing, opportunities, every good thing the enemy have collected from you, financially, otherwise, maritally. I pass decree from now to December till December is your season of restoration. Take back your marriage. Take back your money. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Another. The loudest.